So if I multiply everything by five, we got rid of the negative before. I divided it. Okay. So now I get y equals 5 over 2x. So it's the same thing. 5x over 2 or 5 over 2x are the same thing. Minus 5. Now, all of a sudden, the slope is 5 over 2. The y-intercept is negative 5. Oh, so here, find y-intercept, technically that goes here. Yeah, okay, so in calculus, we don't really use b as much. We just say literally y-intercept. But it wouldn't be wrong. Okay? Okay, so last problem. Today? Yeah. <clears throat> That's quick. P and this, okay? You have the point P, and this is the new line. To answer the following, write an equation through P that is parallel to L. Parallel to L means same slope as L. Right. So, okay, here is L. 3x plus y equals 6. You got to solve it for y. y equals negative 3x plus 6, so it's negative 3. There we go. Yeah. So now, x1, y1 here, yep. So, let's write an equation. y minus y1, which is 3 equals m, negative 3, x plus 2. It's minus minus 2. Uh-oh. It doesn't specify what form to put it in. So this is good enough. This is it. Piece of advice. I know you want to put it in y equals mx plus b form. If you have this correct, then you put it in y equals mx plus b form, but you make a mistake, you get points off. Oh, yeah. Right? So, you know, don't let that happen to you. Okay? Don't let this happen to you. I know. We got bigger fish to fry here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Would b be y minus 3 equals 1 third and then x plus 2? Oh, b, yes. Okay, so the perpendicular. M equals how much? M equals how much? M equals one third. One third. Positive one third. Correct, because it's the negative reciprocal. So then we don't, you know, this is like basically the same. All you change is this one third. Okay. I just realized. Okay. So tomorrow I'm going to print out new packets for you because why not? Oh. Um, here's why. I'll tell you why exactly. <laughs> <laughs>